Just a major consumer alert across Arizona. We're talking gas skimmers, stealing your personal financial information. There is a constant flow of skimmers at gas stations everywhere in our state. Brand new tonight, we've identified one business getting hit more than any other. ABC 15's Justin Pizzera joining us live tonight. And Justin, walk us through what you have there. Yeah, good evening, Katie. I can tell you that more than 100 skimmers have been found at gas stations so far this year. That is more than double than all of them were found last year. So here's the deal. You as a consumer, if you were to go to the state website right now and try to figure out where a skimmer was found, they're only going to give you like an intersection. We're here at 44th and Van Buren. So you're going to have to either assume or guess where that skimmer was found. So we did some digging and what we found out is pretty interesting video of crooks trying to tamper with the fuel pump. The problem? These skimmers look like a regular credit card reader. But once a customer swipes the card, that financial info goes straight to thieves. So far this year, 102 skimmers have been found at Arizona gas stations. That's a substantial jump from the 57 that were found in all of 2017. But to know where they were actually found is vague. Right now, the Department of Weights and Measures only lists the intersections of the business. No exact address, no business name. So you, the consumer, is left wondering, where was the skimmer? So we did some digging. Through a public records request, we asked the state to hand over the names and the addresses of where the skimmers were found. Dating back to January 2016, here's what we got back. Of the 162 skimmers found, 72 were at a Circle K, making up 44% of the list. And if you crunch the numbers for the first eight months of this year, 60 of the 77 found were also at a Circle K. Today, the Department of Weights and Measures says that they were never lobbied by Circle K to keep business names under wraps by only giving a general location, but they are defending the policy to not name a business, saying if they did, it could discourage a business from reporting a skimmer found on their pump. This afternoon, Arizona's Attorney General stepping in after we questioned the numbers. Mark Burnovich releasing this statement, saying in part, this report raises some interesting questions about the responsibility of companies to protect and notify their customers when consumers' financial information is compromised. He goes on to say he encourages the Department of Weights and Measures to start providing the exact location of where these skimmers are found. So tonight, the uh, Attorney General said that it is too early to start talking about any legal action, but I did reach out to Circle K, and in the last few minutes, I did just get an email from them, so I'm going to go ahead and re read part of this. They say, uh, Circle K, K Arizona team conducts daily inspections of all fuel dispensers looking for skimming devices. Any sign of a compromised unit is always turned over to police and the Department of Weights and Measures. However, data thieves continue to develop methods to steal credit card data. And that is a key piece right here, Katie, just talking to these state officials. These thieves are very high tech and they are constantly changing things. So you as a consumer have to be on the lookout. Yeah. So what do we do now, Justin? Do we have uh, any way to protect ourselves? We have to get gas. Well, I can tell you that there is no plan to start naming these businesses just yet on the uh, state website. Uh, but again, the state and even Circle K saying that you have to check. They're not just targeting Circle K. There's a lot of other gas stations that they're attaching these skimmers to. So you have to be diligent and really check that pump to see if it's tampered with. And if you think something is wrong, skip that pump and go to a different one. Katie. Yeah, although they won't name names, a lot of info is there on our website. I encourage folks to check it out. Justin, thank you.